Hello and welcome to the Senior Home Care HQ podcast. This is episode two, and today we're going to talk about uh, total hip replacement surgical recovery times in the elderly. So seniors over 65 are usually dealing with some form of arthritis and arthritis in the hip can be debilitating and limit how much you can move around and perform activities of daily living. Now, sometimes surgical intervention may be what's needed if conservative approaches uh, do not provide relief or restore your quality of life. The question we often hear is, how long will it take to recover from a total hip procedure if I have to do it? So in this episode, we cover this question in depth. We also discuss what happens during the hip replacement procedure, what happens after the procedure, and what to expect moving forward. Should be a good one, folks. Stay tuned. Thanks for listening to the podcast today. And in this episode, we'll discuss hip surgery. For instance, what's the typical recovery time for the elderly? Also, we'll look at some hip precautions and what a patient should be doing after the operation while at home. Through the years, the hip joint is subjected to a great deal of wear and tear. And unfortunately, hip fractures are all too common. Whether it's due to injury or arthritis, hip pain can make life difficult. After all, who wants to hurt all the time? Thankfully, there is a wide array of medical resources to treat this pain, including massages, medication, steroid injections, and physical therapy. If these conservative measures are not appropriate or don't work to decrease the pain, an orthopedic surgeon may recommend total hip replacement surgery. While a total hip replacement can alleviate hip pain caused by arthritis or injury, getting around at home after surgery is often quite challenging. A physical therapist will help continue home treatment so that you can appreciate your new hip joint to the fullest extent. We highly recommend home health physical therapy. This will enhance physical recovery, decrease fall risk, and also improve the quality of life for patients after total hip replacement surgery. So let's talk about what happens during the hip replacement procedure. During the procedure, damaged or arthritic bone and cartilage will be removed and replaced with a prosthetic hip joint. An incision is made either in the anterior, the front, or the posterior, the back region of the hip. This will require specific movement precautions. So, depending on the nature and extent of the surgery, weight bearing onto the hip may also be restricted which in turn can alter the way the patient navigates their home and completes their daily activities. Now, what happens after hip replacement surgery? Hip replacement surgery requires a one to two day hospital stay for observation and physical therapy. Two or three physical therapy sessions are usually enough to prepare someone to return home for rest and recovery. You should expect some acute pain and swelling at the surgical site. The surgeon will prescribe oral pain medication along with the use of an ice pack for the pain and swelling. In addition, anterior or posterior hip precautions are going to be required for 4 to 12 weeks depending on the surgeon's recommendations. These precautions can help reduce the risk of hip dislocation after the surgery. So be aware that these movement restrictions can limit an individual's ability to sit in certain chairs, use the toilet, and sleep in certain positions. Here's what to expect at home after having hip replacement surgery. A home health physical therapist will provide specific treatment to make it easier to navigate the home environment safely and independently after the total hip replacement surgery. The physical therapist will rehearse the movements of standing up and sitting down, and also going up and down the steps and stairs. 
and getting in and out of a shower or bathtub. In addition, a home health physical therapist can help by recommending specific durable medical equipment such as shower chairs, raised toilet seats, and bedside commodes. Specific therapeutic exercises as well as general exercises will help improve strength and weight-bearing tolerance at the hip joint. A home health physical therapist will also arrange the home environment to comply with hip precautions and will enhance the comfort and safety of the home. By the conclusion of home health physical therapy, an individual should feel confident moving around and managing their home. So, if you're considering hip replacement surgery, be sure to inquire about post-operative physical therapy. You, or your loved one, deserves the opportunity to keep moving to your heart's content. To get more great information about senior home care, visit SeniorHomeCareHQ.com. Once again, that's Senior, S-E-N-I-O-R, HomeCareHQ.com.